combination my $15 Ozark trail reel my $8 spinning rod and uh, I'm already hearing the snook down there popping around like crazy they're popping like popcorn I heard something over there in the grass it's freaking kind of spooky <laughs> all right let's get on it all right guys I'm gonna start out throwing the uh, DOA glitter shrimp there's so many snook down there and they are feeding there he is we got a good one. We got a good one. It took a lot, it took quite a few casts, but we got him. Come here, little guy. You need to wake up the neighbors. That's the uh, first snook on the $15 Ozark Trail reel and my $8 Ebco rod. Man, he, he inhaled that DOA shrimp. That thing is way down there. Snooky. Good little snooky. Alright. Thanks for the catch, little guy. See ya. Alright, definitely got a retie. And now I put my knife. So, I've had about five hits. That was the first one that actually committed to it. So, good deal. And these, these snook are freaking beating like crazy down here. Oh my god, there's so many of them. That was fun. I thought it was a lot bigger. There was one that hit down there. That was a freaking giant. Just boom. Sounded like a freaking cannon going off. Oh, this is fun. It's about 12.30, so let's get back on it. Crap. I just caught a snook and I didn't have my camera. I'm hooked up. A long time in between bites, but we got another one. Putting on a little snook show. You're in the spotlight, buddy. through my line. Well, it's about snook number 10 tonight that I've hooked. <laughs> Doggone it, man. Yep. We got another DOA shrimp in here. This is the one we're getting them on. Gold and silver glitter. <sighs> Alright, we're rigged. Let's go get them. <laughs> There are so many snook down there, but it's typical for this bridge. When you first get here, you'll get five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dang, this light keeps going out on me. Freaking light keeps going out on me. Come on, dude. Quit. <laughs> anyway, I'm having trouble with the light tonight. Come on, dude. Turn freaking on and stay on. All right, let's go fish. Hooked up again. Back to back hits on that one. This little guy didn't even know he's hooked. What do we got? We got a big mangrove snapper, man. Wow, that's a keeper there. 
Dude, that is a giant May. Big old snapper. Big old snapper snapper. Might have to do us a catch and cook. Boy, he freaking got that thing way down in there too. We got some needle nose pliers here somewhere. Big old snapper. Heck yeah. size of that dude it's about a 12 inch snapper huh sweet baby sweet all right we're gonna let you go buddy let you live for another day thanks see ya nice 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 heck yeah baby got me a mangrove snapper on the doa is clear let's go all right guys <laughs> i have moved to a different bridge all right let's head down there i hear them feeding man if i hook up here it's going to be tough it's going to be really tough but we're going to give it a shot there he is oh that's a good one that's a good one that's a good one first cast yeah that's a good one these are not little baby snook here either for the catch. See ya. Nice, nice, nice. Let me get re-rigged. All right, I'm re-rigged. Let's do it. I can hear them feeding like crazy behind me, man. <laughs> there he is. There he is. What's on? Oh, we're getting them on the $25 rig tonight, you guys. <laughs> we're getting a snook tonight, baby. We're getting a snook tonight. They are feeding tonight. Man, I wish my other light was working. Yeah, he's gonna give me that snook shake. All right, another good little snook. Thanks for the catch. I gotta retie again, it's all freed up. So I've made four casts here. I've caught two snook and I had a hit. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? And here I'm popping like popcorn behind me they are feeding man they are on the feed definitely there he is oh that's a good one that's a good that's a better one there that's a better fish oh my god it's a much better fish man they are feeding tonight my goodness my goodness my goodness they are feeding wow big fish big fish big fish big fish we got a good one here, guys. We got a good one here. We got a good snook. Yeah, he just figured out he's hooked. 25 pound test. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. This is really going to depend on how he's hooked. Oh, he's swimming at me. Much better snook. Alright, you're done, dude. You're done. We are tearing them up on the $25 combo. Heck yeah. That's a good sized fish right there. It's just about every cast. Just about every stinking cast, man. I 
Oh, look at that. I had him hooked on the outside of the mouth. My leader's not frayed at all. That dude right there's about 26 inches long. Much better snook. Thanks for the catch. See ya. Nice. There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. This is the biggest one of the night right here. And he, he let out a big waller. He let out a big waller. He, he, he hadn't really realized he's hooked. There he is. There he is. There he is. Yeah, I thought it was the biggest one of the night. That was a good one. Whoop, he just ran right into the concrete. That knocked himself out. Alright, guy. Okay, you're done. You're done. Nice little guy. Cookie cutters. Alright, buddy. Thanks for the catch. See ya. Alright. Well, my leader didn't get frayed at all on that one. Good deal. I bet we can catch another one. <laughs> hey, did you get your rad reeling fishing merch yet? What are you waiting for? I want to share some tips with you on how I fish this DOA shrimp at night. I'm fishing a glitter shrimp. I found that that color tends to work the best in most of the areas that I fish in. And so I'm basically there's a bridge here, there's a street light, it shines down around the bridge, it creates a shadow on the water, the currents going back towards the bridge and those snook are hanging in the shadow. I'm casting that shrimp way out away from the bridge, I let it sink down and then I'm just basically reeling it real slow in the current and I give it a twitch and I let it fall. Reel a little bit, give it a twitch and let it fall. So that shrimp's kind of doing one of these things. And I think what's happening is just when I give it a little twitch, that makes causes that extra like reaction strike. If they happen to see something flash, you know, they turn and they see it and then they say it's a, anyway, they see it's a shrimp. Whatever it is that I'm doing, you guys, obviously it's working. Those sh freaking snook were like tearing it up down there at those two bridges. Um, they were definitely on the feed. So, and I wanted to share with you guys about when I film at night, you know, I'll be casting over in this direction, the snook are hanging over here. When I hook a snook, I literally have to turn 180 degrees away from that area before I turn on all my light because I don't want to blow out the snook that are over there. If I start shining light in that area, those snook are, they're going to be gone. They're not going to be hitting anymore. And so that's why, you know, you'll hear me, it'll be pitch black and it's like, oh, oh, I got one. And then you'll see it cut to, you know, you'll just see the fishing rod and it's bent. Well, in between that time, there's a lot of a fish fight sometimes that you guys, you don't hear and you don't see because I don't want to bore you with the blacked out, just dark footage. All right. If it was a giant snook and you could hear all the splashing, I would probably leave it in there. But these are smaller snook, right? Now at the popcorn bridge where I hook the snook at there, I literally have to like go down the seawall 35 feet before I can turn on my light. If I don't do that, I will completely spook them out. And it's so funny at the popcorn bridge, I have learned that generally in the first 20 minutes, I will get hooked up with anywhere from like probably five to 10 snook. I might catch two or three of them. And after that, um, they know that I'm there and the bite just shuts down. I can just keep fishing and fishing and fishing and the bite completely shuts down. But anyway, guys, I wanted to share with you some tips on how I fish the DOA shrimp at night. And, uh, Thanks for watching this video. I love getting out there and doing some snook fishing. It's been a while, so thumbs up or appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I upload videos all the time, and everybody click that little bell so you get notified every time that I upload new videos. And get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!